Okay, so good afternoon, uh, good evening. Okay, so sa Philippines, I think it's already 8.30 p.m. Okay, kasi lagi kayong nandiyan, okay, to follow us and to help us reach many CPA aspirants. Even for those that are undergraduates, okay, kasi makakatulong to yung ginagawa natin dito sa CPA Dreams. So if you are here, please comment. CPA Dreams. So, para malaman ko kung okay yung audio ko, you can see me clearly. Okay? So, multiple choice theory muna tayo. So, we will answer 48 uh, items. Okay? So, medyo marami-rami yung items natin, 48 yan. But then, ang ating problems, so yung problems natin, around 32 items. Okay? So, again, bago tayo magtuloy, I, I want to explain with you, okay, laging nating tatandaan. ba diba, pagka theory, ilang minutes natin sasagutan yan in actual exam? One minute lang yan. Okay, pagka problems naman, okay, yan ay answeran natin ng three minutes. Okay, so yan yung rules natin. Okay, kung mas mababa, okay, kung kaya mong answeran eh, below one minute or below three minutes, okay, the better. Okay, so ganyan yon. So, para magamit natin yung ibang oras natin sa, uh, sa pag-answer ng mas mahihirap na problems or comprehensive problems. Okay, so now, let's move on. Which of the following is usually considered cash? Ano yung mga items na pwedeng i-considered as cash? Okay, pag sinabi kasing cash, dapat yan ay immediately convertible or available. Okay? Kailangan on the spot, pwede mo siyang magamit. Okay? So, ang answer natin dito is ano? Certificate of deposit ba yan? Na, no. It, do it sa cash equivalents. Money market saving certificate, cash equivalents. Post-dated check, yun yung ini-issue natin sa supplier. So, ang readily Available is checking account. So, the answer is letter boy. Okay? So, kayang-kaya. Madali lang. Kaya nating sagutan itong mga problems na to. Okay? Next, number two. Which of the following shall not? Okay, this time, nasa negative. Okay? So, which of the following shall not be considered cash for financial reporting purposes? Okay? Coin and currency, that is cash, right? So, considered as, as cash yan. Okay? Considered as cash yan. So, yan ay hindi pwedeng maging sagot. Money orders, considered as cash then. Petty cash fund, considered din as cash. So, eto yan, IOUs. Okay? IOUs from the, from the, word, from the acronym itself. Okay? Alam natin na hindi siya cash. Okay? Next. IOUs, ibig sabihin, may pagkakautang siya. Okay, now, number three, all of the following may be included in cash. Again, nandito na naman tayo sa except. Negative yung tanong. Okay, so, alin dyan ang hindi na naman kasama sa cash? Okay, so, checking account balance, kasama yan. Okay, kasama yan. Currency, kasama rin yan. Money market instrument, kasama din yan. Okay, alin ang hindi kasama? Kun, uh, sorry, money market instrument, alin pala except, okay? Ang uh, money market instrument, hindi yan kasama. Okay? Ang ibig ko sabihin kasama is yung saving account balance. So, ang hindi kasama is cash equivalents, which is money market instrument. So, the answer is letter C. Okay, number four, which of the following not, again, negative ulit, not be considered cash? Okay, so alin na naman ang hindi pwedeng i-considered na cash? Certified check, change fund, personal check, those can be considered cash. Available kagad yan. Okay, readily convertible. Alin ang hindi? Post-dated check. Okay, next. Number five, which of the following should not be? Okay, porous negative. Should not be included in cash. Okay, alin na naman ang hindi kasama? 
Certified check, kasama yan. Personal check, kasama yan. Readily available, manager check, kasama yan. Or readily available or convertible. There is no restriction. Okay, so alin ang hindi kasama ito? Travel cash advance. Okay, advance. So ibig sabihin, yan ay in advance, yan ay kailangang ibalik. Okay, so hindi yan kasama ng cash. Okay, number six. At the end of the current year, an entity had various checks and papers in the safe. Okay, so tingnan natin. Anong tanong? Which of the following should not, na negative ulit, not be included in the current year-end statement of financial position? Okay, alin na naman ang hindi pwede nating isama? Okay, US dollar, 20,000, kasama yan. Okay, the entity's undelivered check payable to a supplier dated December 31, kasama pa yan sa cash mo. Hindi pa nadideliver. Okay, another entity's 150,000 check payable dated December 15 of the current year, kasama pa rin yan. Okay, alin ang hindi kasama? Ang hindi diyan kasama is eto. Past due promissory note. Okay, issued in favor of the entity by the president. Okay, so ibig sabihin, uh, kuha na naman to. Anong tawag doon? Promise to pay. Okay, promissory note. So hindi siya part ng cash mo. Okay, so the answer is boy. Number seven, cash equivalent. So magkaiba ang cash sa cash equivalent. Okay, ngayon, Pero pagka pinirecent yan, one line item lang naman yung cash and cash equivalents sa balance sheet or statement of financial position. Okay? Pero wag malito pag ang tanong cash, cash lang yung kailangan mong i-calculate. Pagka sinabing cash and cash equivalent, kasama na yung other cash. Okay? Equivalent is a short-term, highly liquid investment that is readily convertible into known amount of cash. Okay? Ito naman is readily convertible din siya into, um, into known amount of cash. Okay? So, alin dyan? Okay? Ang pinaka tamang sagot natin. Okay? Actually, this is C. Okay? Yung nearing to maturity. Okay? And it represents insignificant risk of change in interest rate. Okay, so walang mag masyadong effect. Okay, ang interest rate. Okay, usually 3 months, di ba? Ang ginagawa natin. Okay, makikita mo rin yung mga treasury bill, T-bill. Okay, na dapat 30, 30, uh, 90, day, uh, 30, 90 days maturity. Okay, now, oh, eto pala, nasa question number 8. Which of the following is not... Okay, is not considered as cash equivalent. Okay, negative ulit ang question. Okay, so tingnan natin, alin dyan ang hindi part ng cash equivalent? Ito sinabi ko, 90-day T-bill, kasama yan sa cash equivalent mo. 60-day money market placement, kasama rin yan. At 3-year, ito, kailangan mo na mag-analyze dito. 3-year note, maturing May 30 of the current year purchased by the entity on April 15 of the current year. Okay? Purchased by the entity April 15. Okay? So, ito is three-year note. Okay? Pero, kwa na siya? Uh, on the near expiry na. Okay? Almost, uh, wala nang three months actually. Almost one, uh, 15 days. Okay? So, 15 days na lang. So, yan ay part ng cash mo. Alin ang hindi part? So, eto na yun. Ang answer mo dito is letter D. Okay? Ibig sabihin, eto, basahin natin. A 3-year note maturing on May 30 of the current year purchased by the entity on January 15 of the current year. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, uh, more than 3 months na siya o more than 90 days. Okay? Next, cash and cash equivalent. Okay, so pinagsama na dito. Basic requirement for cash and cash equivalent. Ano raw yung basic requirement natin dyan? I think alam na natin ang word na unrestricted. Okay, 
malayo pa lang nakikita ko na yung unrestricted so yun yun okay so ibig sabihin kasi yung cash and cash equivalent mo pwede mo siyang gamitin anytime for your normal or current operations okay so letter boy okay number 10 which of the following should be excluded okay so nasa negative na naman from cash and cash equivalent alin daw ang hindi kasama okay time deposit which matures one year okay so ito yun ang answer natin wag na natin palayuin customers check to okay kasama yan do denominated in foreign currency kasi convertible siya kagad minimum cash balance maintained Okay, pero hindi naman sinabi restricted. Check issued December 27, current year but dated January 15. Okay, not more than 3 months. So, pasok pa din yan as cash and cash equivalent. So, ang hindi is yung letter A natin. Okay, number 11. All of the following can be classified as cash and cash equivalents except neg negative ulit. So, alin ang hindi pwede? Okay, na hindi pwedeng i-classified as cash and cash equivalent mo. Is it a bank overdraft, equity investments, commercial papers held, due for repayment in 90 days, redeemable prevalent shares? Actually, dito malilito ka. Alin kaya dito? Ito kasi yung bank, of, bank overdraft, sinasabi natin yung liability. Okay, pero yung equity investments, investments from the word itself, investments yan. Okay, so ang pipiliin mo dyan is etong B. Okay, equity investment. Ang back overdraft actually considered as liability. Pero may mga, may another way kasi how to approach it. Ang ang bank, you can use the overdraft. Okay, ang ibig sabihin dito is yung overdraft ni banko, meron kang extra money na pwede mong gamitin. Okay, kaya considered cash and cash equivalent siya dito sa choices. Okay. Number 12, which of which is false? Okay. Concerning measurement of cash and cash equivalents. Alin ang false dyan? Okay. Of course, cash is measured at face value. Whether in foreign currency yan, kin, uh, measure mo yan at current exchange rate. So that is true. Ang tanong is false, no? So then, uh, cash equivalents should be measured at maturity value ba? No. Okay, kasi dito na nga sinabi na natin at face value. Hindi naman, wala namang plus interest yan. Okay, so ito yung false. Babasahin pa ba natin yung D? Okay, so basahin natin ng konti. Holding the funds of the entity is in bankruptcy or financial difficulty. Cash should be written down to estimated realizable value. Yes, this is true. So the answer is C. Yun yung false. Now, internal control over cash. Which of the following in statements is incorrect? Again, nandito ka na naman sa uh, negative. Okay? Ang question mo. Alin dyan yung mali? Okay? So, since actually nagbasa na ako kanina, so nakikita ko na kagad kung alin yung mali. Responsibility of receiving merchandise and paying for it should usually be given to one person. Okay? Of course, hindi dapat. Hindi tamang kontrol yon. Okay? Dapat, di ba, may tinatawag sa auditing na ARCs. Okay? Yung ARCs na yan, yun yung tinatawag na uh, is, uh, authorization, recording, custody, uh, are should be separated. Okay? So, dapat merong separation of duties. Okay? Parang lang din. Anong tawag ng constitution? Merong separation of church and state. Okay. Huwag na tayo. Baka maging political. Next. 14. Which of the following is not a characteristic of a system of cash control? Okay. A. Voucher system. Yes, it is a characteristic. B. Daily depositable cash received. Yes, that should be. Right? Especially kung mga retail yan. Okay, dapat din deposit ang cash agad. Internal audits at irregular intervals. Yes, it's a proper uh, control procedure. So, ang mali is itong D. Combined responsibility. Kasi sabi lang natin, dito is separation of duties or segregation of duties. Okay, ang ginamit ko sa patient. Pero the right term is segregation of duties. Okay, now... 
petty cash fund na tayo mga kapatid. Petty cash fund is, ito ba restricted? No. Of course, set aside for payroll? No, kasi nga small amount siya. Separately classified as current asset? No, kasi kasama siya sa cash. So ang answer mo is dog. Money kept on hand for making minor disbursements of coin and currency rather than by writing checks. Ginagamit yan for small expenses, di ba? So, ang tamang sagot dyan, letter D. Okay? Number 16, the internal control features specific to petty cash is A, assignment of responsibility, B, impress system, C, proper authorization, D, separation of duties. Okay, eto yun, impress system. Okay, di ba merong two system na ginagamit? Okay, yung impress system and yung fluctuating system. Okay? What is the major purpose of uh, an impressed petty cash fund? Ano raw yung uh, major purpose niya? Ang sagot natin dyan, effectively control cash disbursements. Okay, alam naman natin yan. So, madali lang yan. Next, the petty cash fund account under the impress fund system is debited. Okay, lang nag-debit. Okay? When fund is created. Okay? And when the, the size of the fund is increased. Okay? Pagka nag-create ka ng petty cash fund and then pag nagdagdag ka. So, ang magiging entry mo is debit petty cash. Okay? Credit cash. Okay? Next, number 19. <clears throat> In reimbursing the petty cash fund, which of the following is true? O, ngayon, is positive naman yung question. Okay? So, Eto na yon. Expense accounts are debited. Okay? Di ba nagde-debit tayo pag, pagka meron na tayo na gastos? Okay? So, lahat is nakadebit ang expense, expenses mo, and then credit mo yung petty cash mo. Okay? Or usually, kung hindi petty cash, then cash. Since we are in petty cash fund. Okay? Which of the following statements in relation to petty cash is incorrect? So, nasa negative na naman siya. Okay, so ang sagot dyan, the petty cash account is debit debited when the fund is replenished. So that is wrong. Okay, incorrect ang tanong. Okay, next, number 21, when a petty cash fund is used, which of the following statements is true? Alin yung totoo? Okay, kung gumagamit ng petty cash, alin dyan yung totoo? So let's check. The reimbursement of the petty cash fund should be credited to the cash account. Okay, this is true. Okay, kung may reimbursement, syempre meron kang i-credit na cash account, uh, na cash. Okay? Next, babawasan mo kasi yung cash mo, di ba? Next, so yun na yung sagot. Number 22, a cash over and short account. Ano yan? Okay? Yan is, actually, is debited when the petty cash fund Proves out short, actually. Ang tawag ko dyan, actually, is meron akong kinikreate na isang aka, cash shortage or overage. Okay? Pinag-iisa ko na yan sa practice. Okay? Pero dito, gagawin mo is, petty cash fund proves out short. Okay? Pero sa practice, isa na lang yun. Yan, no? Whether overage yan or shortage, isang account ko na lang pinagsasama yan. 23. Which of the following statements in relation to the cash short or over account is true? Okay, ang sagot dito is C. The entry to account for daily cash sales, daily cash sales for which a small amount of cash shortage existed would include debit to cash short or over. Okay, ang tanong kasi which one is true? Okay, next, number 24. Which of the following statements in relation to petty cash fund is false? Okay, ang daming tanong sa petty cash. Okay, kasi hindi yan nawawala sa actual examination. Okay, so ang sagot dito, diretso na natin, letter C. Establishment of, uh, of an impressed petty cash fund, one person is given authority and responsibility. Di ba kasi sabi lang natin yung ARCs. Okay, dapat yung authorization, recording, cost to the and segregation of duties. Okay? Next, number, oh, presentation and disclosure na tayo. 25, what is the treatment of customers post 
post-dated checks. Okay? Customers post-dated checks, of course, tayo ay makakareceive ng check from our customers. So, ang treatment mo dyan, accounts receivable. Okay? Kung tayo naman ang nag-issue ng post-dated check, so supplier side ka naman, yan is accounts payable. So, ang magiging answer mo dyan dapat is letter A, kung ang tanong ay suppliers post-dated checks. Okay, next, 26. If material deposits in foreign bank which are subject to foreign exchange restriction, okay, merong restriction, shall be classified as, eto yan, D, separately as non-current asset with appropriate disclosure. Okay, kasi restricted siya. So, non-current asset siya. Okay? 27. Which, under which classification is cash restricted for plant expansion reported? Okay? Ano yan? Saan yan papasok? Again, pagka may word na restricted, usually, no? Mapapansin mo yan sa mga theories, papasok yan sa non-current assets. Okay? Next, 28. Bank overdraft generally should be, o oh, ito yun, yung kaninang dinidiscuss ko, no? reported as current liability. So, ang answer mo dyan is letter A. Okay? Number 29. What is compensating balance? Ito actually is, yun yung min minimum balance mo. O, oh, ito na pala, nandito dito. Minimum deposit required to be maintained. Okay, so the word compensating and maintaining is same or synonymous. Okay, in connection with borrowing arrangement. So, ang answer natin dyan, dog. Okay, next, number 30. Deposits held as compensating balance. Ano siya? Usually, do not earn interest. Not really. Okay, kasi kung yan ay uh, restricted, then pwede yung mag-earn ng interest. If legally restricted and held against short-term credit, may be included in cash. That is not true kasi restricted siya. Hindi siya kasama sa cash mo. C, legally restricted and held against long-term credit may be included among current assets wrong. Dapat non-current asset yan. So, ang sagot dyan, none of this. Okay. 31. Compensating balance. Ano yan? Okay, definition lang naman to. Okay, so ito yun. Which is legally restricted and related to a short-term loan is classified separately as current asset. Kung short-term, yung word na short-term, current asset. Yan, yun yung tama na pwedeng definition. Okay? Ito o, oh, bakit malito? Kasi, not legally restricted as to withdrawal, but separate mo as current asset. Hindi mo na siya separate considered cash na yan. Okay? Next, 32. At the end of the current year, an entity had cash accounts at three different banks. Okay? One account is segregated solely for payment into a bond sinking fund. A second account for branch operations, overdrawn. Okay? Wala nang laman. Third account, Used for regular corporate operations, positive balance. How, sh how should these accounts be reported? Okay, so diretso na tayo sa answer. Ang answer dyan is D. Segregated accounts should be reported as non-current asset. Okay, kasi bond sinking fund to. So hindi siya talaga part ng current asset. Yung regular account, part siya ng report uh, as current asset. Okay? And yung overdraft dito, yung overdrawn, okay, is part of current liability. Okay? Kaya D ang tamang sagot. Okay? Now, let's move on. So, tapos na tayo sa compensating balance. So, maganda kasi naiintindihan natin dito kung paano yung magiging approach mo later sa uh, multiple choice problems. Kung bagay, sinaral mo muna yung theory bago ka magpunta sa problem. So, ganyan tayo mag-aaral. Okay? So, bank reconciliation na. Ano ang bank reconciliation? Okay? So, diretso na ulit tayo. Ang katumbas niyan yung schedule. Okay? 
that accounts for the differences between an entity's cash balance as shown in the bank and cash balance shown in the general ledger. Kung baga nare-reconcile mo yung balance mo per books against balance per bank. Okay, so D. 34. Bank statements provide information about all of the following except alin ang hindi pinuprovide ni bank. Okay, alin dyan? Okay, so isa-isahin natin. Pero yan is madali lang naman. Okay, so bank charges makikita kay bank yan. Checks cleared makikita mo rin kay bank yan. Yung non-sufficient fund checks makikita mo rin yan. Ang hindi mo makikita is itong errors made by the depositor. Okay, kasi hindi mo naman alam kung nagkamali ng deposit. Yung perang dineposit, it's para hindi pala para sa bank account na yon. So that you will never know. So except C. 35. Which of the following items must be added to the cash balance per ledger in preparing bank reconciliation which ends with adjusted cash balance? Okay, alin daw ang items na pwedeng i-add back? Okay, cash balance. So ibig sabihin, nire-refer na niya to saan? Ito, uh, balance per ledger. So company's books. Ito yan, D. No receivable collected by bank in favor of the depositor and credited to the account of the depositor. Okay. Number 36 na tayo. Okay, so question number 36. When preparing a bank reconciliation, bank credits are, of course, they are added to the balance per book. Okay. Next, in preparing a bank reconciliation, interest paid by the bank on the account is, okay, yung interest paid mo, okay, anong gagawin mo? Siyempre, i-add mo yan to the book balance. Okay, pagka nag-gain ka ng interest, papasok yan dito. Okay? Next, in preparing monthly bank reconciliation, which of the following would be added to the balance per bank to arrive at the correct cash balance? Okay, so ibig sabihin, alin naman ang i-add mo sa balance per bank? Okay, so madali lang. Alam na natin yan. DIT or deposits in transit. Okay, gamitin ko nga itong highlighter ko ulit. Which of the following must be deducted? Okay, from the bank statement balance in preparing bank reconciliation. Okay, alin dyan ang i-deduct mo naman? Okay, so madali lang din. Outstanding check. Okay, next, if the balance shown on an entity's bank statement is less than, okay, less than the correct cash balance, neither the entity nor the bank has made any errors, there must be, okay, less than. So, possibility, wala daw errors, so merong deposits in transit na nangyari. Okay, next, 41. If the cash balance shown on entity's accounting records, now this time less than the correct cash balance, alin naman yon? So, kabalik tara naman tayo nung isa. So, that is deposits credited by the bank by not yet recorded by the entity. So, deposit in transit, si bank hindi niya pa na-record kasi in transit pa, pero si book na-record na niya. So, this time naman, meron namang nakadeposit na, na-credit na sa account mo, pero hindi mo pa siya na-record. Okay, kaya less than. Next, 42. Which of the following? Which of the following? Which of the following would not require an adjusting entry on the depositor's books? Alin naman dyan? Okay, eto yun. C. Deposit of another entity is credited by the bank to the account of depositor. So, kailangan magkaroon ka ng adjustment. Okay? Next, punta naman tayo sa 43. Adjusting entries for a bank reconciliation. Anong sagot natin dyan? Okay, alin yung gagamitan natin ng adjusting entries? Okay, ang answer dyan is letter boy. Include a debit to office expense for bank service charge. Okay, next, 44. Bank reconciliations are normally prepared 
on a monthly basis to identify adjustments needed in the depositor's records and to identify bank errors. Adjustment on the part of the depositor should be recorded for, ano yung mga kailangan record All items except bank errors, okay, kasi hindi mo naman talaga malalaman yan. Outstanding checks and deposits in transit. Kasi ito is, uh, na kay uh, bank, bank ina-adjust to. Okay? Next, 45. Which of the following statements in relation to bank reconciliation is true? Okay, so diretso na tayo sa katotohanan. Okay, letter C. Bank service charge will cost the balance per ledger to be higher than that reported by the bank. Okay, kasi nabawas na kay bank, hindi mo pa na na record. Okay, all other things being equal. So, ito yung true amount. Okay, now, punta na tayo sa 46. Which of the following statements is false? Okay, alin naman yung false? Okay, ang sagot dyan, boy, a certified check is one drawn by, by a bank upon itself. No. Okay, next, 47, proof of cash. A proof of cash is, okay, ano yung proof of cash? Okay, simply lang, for column bank reconciliation. Ito yung pinapakita mo yung, yung disbursements and receipts, no? Uh, one time siguro will show it on how to do that, okay? Per book and per bank at the beginning and end of the current month para makuha mo ang reconciliation for cash receipts and cash disbursements. Okay, then 48, a proof of cash would be useful for saan magagamit ang proof of cash? Discovering cash receipts that have been recorded but have not been deposited. So letter D. Okay, now tapos na natin ang theory. End of handouts na for theory. Pupunta naman tayo sa, uh, punta naman tayo mga kapatid sa, uh, Problems. Okay? So, siguro sa problems, we'll answer around 20 items kasi medyo marami din to. Okay? So, punta, punta tayo sa uh, calculation naman. Okay? So, multiple choice problems. Okay? Pag nag answer tayo, ang una natin titingnan, di ba? Yung uh, question. Okay? So, about petty cash fund siya. Nakalagay na kasi dito. Ang question, what is the amount of petty cash fund that should be reported in the statement of financial position? Okay? So, ang ibig sabihin, ano ang petty cash fund mo? Okay? So, ibig sabihin yan yung coins and currencies. So, simple lang. Ito na yan. Coins and currencies, 22,000. Okay? And then, ano pa? Okay, kasi eto mga expenses na yan, di ba? Repairs, office equipments, eto loans to employees. So, hindi rin yan. And then, eto lang. Check drone. etong check drone by the entity payable to the order of grace. Siya yung petty cash custodian. So, kasama to. Okay, eto hindi rin siya kasama. Okay, so, ang mangyayari, 22 plus 15 is 37. Okay, meron pang pagulo actually. Dito is a sheet of paper with names of several employees together with the contribution of birthday gift of a co-employee. Hindi naman yan part, okay, ng petty cash mo kasi hindi naman yan company's money. Okay, currency 5,000 and an impress balance, ang sino 50,000. Ang tinatanong, ano ipapakita mo sa uh, statement of financial position. So, ito lang yun. Yung 22 and then yung 15. Kaya ang sagot dyan, 37,000. So, the answer is letter C. Okay? May, madali lang ang petty cash actually. Okay? Petty cash is simple and easy. Next, <clears throat> ang tanong, what, what total amount should be reported cash at year end? Okay? So, diretso ka na. Ano yung cash na ipapakita mo? Okay? Again, yung cash equivalent, hindi yun kasama. Okay? So, cash on hand, yes. Kasama yan. Demand deposit, kasama yan. Readily available for cash. etong certificate of deposit, no. Cash equivalent yan. Dito, very clear. Cash lang. 
Okay, post-dated customer check? No. Hindi yan kasama. Petty cash fund, kasama yan. Magagamit mo agad yan. Traveler's check, kasama yan. Okay, manager's check, kasama yan. Money order, kasama yan. Okay, yung cash na readily available or convertible will be part of your cash. Cash equivalence, hindi. Okay, magkaiba yan. Okay, next. Dobe Company. Okay, checkbook balance on December 31, 2020 at 4 million. Tingnan natin ang question. Okay, hmm, mahaba ang problem. Should be reported as cash. Okay, so wag malito. Ang hinahanap is cash lang. Okay, actually, dito is magkakaroon tayo ng counting analysis. Okay, what is the total amount should be reported as cash on December 31, 2020? Okay, yun yung tanong. Okay, now, let's look at kung ano yung data na meron tayo. Okay, so binigay ang checkbook balance at the end of the year, 4 million. Okay, so, pero may mga items na minention dito. So, itong mga items na to, probably we need to adjust it. Okay? So, i-adjust natin. A customer check amounting to 200,000 dated January 2 was included in December 31, 2020 checkbook balance. Okay? Hindi pa naman yan uh, na in cash So, yan ay receivable pa. So, included daw. So, less 200 ka. Okay? Less 200 ka dito. Next, another customer check 500,000 deposited December 22 was included but returned by the bank for insufficiency. The check was redeposited December 26, cleared two days. So December 28, na-cleared naman siya. So ibig sabihin, tama, okay siya. Walang problema, okay, walang impact. Next, a 400,000 check payable to supplier dated and recorded on December 30, was mailed January 16. Okay? Pero January 16, okay, ibig sabihin, undelivered check ito. Okay? So, kasama pa yan sa cash mo. So, meron kang additional na 400. Okay, sorry. Okay, next. Okay, so tandaan mo dito is, yeah, alam mo na yung adjustment mo na ginawa mo dito, dito, and dito. Okay, so meron tayong 4 million 200. Eh, may petty cash pa. Ibaba ko ha. Yung nakuha na natin is 4 million 200. Now, ang petty cash fund daw, consisting of 50,000. Okay, ang fund is 50,000. Ito yung laman. Okay, ang laman is meron kang coins and currency na 5,000. Petty cash vouchers, 43. Return value of 20 cases of soft drinks. Hindi yan kasama. Okay, so ibig sabihin pala, hindi siya 50,000. Siya ay dapat 48K lang. Okay, so 4,200 plus 48,000. 4 million 200 plus 48,000, yan yung dapat maging sagot natin. 4 million 248. Okay, so ang answer is dog. Okay, so madali lang, di ba? Next, unrestricted cash. Ito is include and exclude lang to. Ang tanong, unrestricted cash on December 31, 2020. O, diretso ka na. Okay, hawak ko yung calculator ko. Diretso na rin ako sa calculator ko. Tingnan natin kung alin yung isasama mo at hindi. Okay? Checking account at First Bank, hindi to kasama kasi negative, 200. Checking account at Second Bank, positive. So, 3,500 ka, that is okay. Treasury bonds, hindi yan kasama. Payroll account, ibig sabihin, eto S for normal operations, kasama yan. Value added tax account, for normal operations din, kasama din yan. Foreign bank account, unrestricted. Okay, sinabi na dito, unrestricted. Pagkatapos may equivalent na in pesos. So, ibig sabihin, kasama yan. Okay, next, 
postage stamps, kasama ba yan? Hindi yan kasama. Employees post-dated check, hindi rin yan kasama. Okay? IOU from the president, hindi rin yan kasama. Credit memo, hindi rin yan kasama. Traveler's check, kasama yan. Not sufficient pan check, hindi yan kasama. Okay? So, alam mo na ngayon. Ito pa pala, meron pang naiwan. Petty cash fund, 20,000 in currency and expense receipt, 30. So, ang actual petty cash mo is 20 lang. So, ang isasama mo lang is yung 20K. Okay? Not the 50. Okay? Money order, 180. Yes. Okay? Ang tanong, unrestricted. So, pag sinabing unrestricted cash, yan yung mga amount. So, add-add mo lang. Okay? So, 3,500,000 plus 500 plus 400 plus 2 million plus 300 plus 180. Ang dapat makuha mo dyan pag in mo lahat is 6,900,000 or letter dog. Okay? Madali, mahirap, madali. Okay? Number 5. Dito naman tayo. Ang tanong, cash and cash equivalents naman. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, cash and cash equivalents, both. Okay? Pareho ang tanong. Okay? Now, tingnan natin kung ano yung isasama natin. Investment and securities. Okay? Alam na natin securities yan. Hindi yan kasama. Okay? Investment and securities ulit. Okay? Bakit laging kasama ang investment and securities? Okay, 2 million. Basahin natin. These securities are government treasury bills. Okay, treasury bills naman pala. The treasury bills have a 10-year term. Okay, 10-year term siya. Okay, and purchase on December 31. At which time? Okay, sinabi na dito. Two, ma <coughs> Sorry. two months na lang to go until they mature. Di ba ang usapan natin? 3 months until they mature, pwede siyang isama as cash equivalent. So, kasama ito. Okay? Cash equivalent yan. So, kasama yung 2 million na yan. Next, cash 3 million 400 in the form of currency, saving accounts and checking, checking accounts. So, it's very clear kasama yung 3 million 400. Then, eto na naman, investment in securities. Okay? Basahin natin. Securities are commercial papers. Term is 9 months. And they were purchased on December 31, at which they had 3 months. Again, 3 months. So, kasama yan. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, add mo lang 2 million plus 3 million 400. So, 5 million 400 plus 1 million 500. Makukuha mo 6 million 900. So, letter C. Okay? Madali, mga kapatid. Okay, next. Punta naman ulit tayo. Ano ang tanong dito? On December 31, what total amount should be reported as cash and cash equivalent? Okay? Dito is cash and cash equivalent ulit tayo, mga kapatid. Okay, so tingnan natin ang cash and cash equivalents na sinasabi. Okay, isa-isahin ulit natin. Add, add, plus, plus ka lang. Okay? Ganyan lang ulit ang gagawin mo. Okay, now. Undeposited collections, kasama ba yan? Yes, kasama yan. PCIB checking account. So, checking account is very, very clear, kasama yan. PNB overdraft, hindi yan kasama. Undeposited NSF check, dated December 1. Okay, alam naman na natin yan. Post-dated, dated... Jan December 1, so wala yan, hindi yan kasama. Meron pang isa, undeposited check from a customer dated January 15, hindi pa rin yan kasama for that year. Okay, so wala din yan. Okay, so fund for payroll. Okay, pag sinabing fund for payroll, fund for value added tax, ibig sabihin current operations yan, isasama mo yan. Kasi ang mga, mga malalaking company, they have different accounts na ginagamit. Okay? Kaya, part yan ng cash mo. Unrestricted yan. Okay? Do specific funds. So, that means normal operation, normal operating cycle. Okay? Saving deposit, kasama yan. 
money market instrument, sinabi dito, 90 days. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kasama yan. Restricted cash in foreign bank, hindi yan kasama. Okay? So, madali lang mga kapatid. Okay? Yung NSF check natin na dated January 15, papasok yan sa accounts receivable. Ito namang PNB overdraft na to, current liability yan. Yung NSF check naman na isa, eh sa customer mo, okay, receivable mo yan. Okay, yung 15. So add mo, 60 plus 500, 560,000 plus 150 plus 100 plus, plus 2 million, ang makukuha mo, 2 million 810. Oh, do meron pa pala dito. Sorry, pero IOUs hindi naman talaga yang kasama. Okay, buti na lang hindi. Sinking fund, sorry, hindi rin siya kasama. Financial asset held, hindi rin siya kasama. Okay, pampagulo lang. Okay, so tama pa rin yung calculation natin. What will you get will be 2,810. Okay, D. Pagka ganyan yung mga question sa bonus na lang yan. Okay, kasi madali lang siya. Next, Campbell Company had the following account balances. Okay, tingnan natin ano yung tanong. Okay, ang tanong is cash and cash equivalents na naman. Okay, siguro after this, magja-jump ako sa ibang uh, multiple choice questions kasi puro cash and cash equivalents. Pupunta ako sa uh, bank reconciliation na. Okay, kasi master na natin to eh. Cash and cash equivalents. Okay. Now, petty cash fund, 50,000. So, tingnan mo kasi may paragraph. Baka may adjustment. Okay. Usually, petty cash fund, meron. Okay. Now, current account, kasama yan. Sinking fund, kasama ba yan o hindi? Okay. So, tingnan natin. Baka meron ding sinasabi dito. Okay. May nakita kasi ako. Dito is may sinking fund and dito ay may petty cash fund. Ibig sabihin, may potential adjustment tong dalawa na to. Okay? Ito at saka ito. So, mamaya natin yan pag-isipan. Okay? Cash on hand, clear. Kasama yan, 500,000. Okay? Pero, baka merong bang, merong bang later adjustment, we'll check ulit. Cash and bank restricted. Okay? Restricted na. So, non-current asset na yan. Okay, 2020 ang tinatanong to be disbursed in 2021. Nakalipas na. Okay, so we'll see. Ibig sabihin, alin ang makakasama? Yung petty cash fund, merong unreplenish. Okay, so magkano yung unreplenish petty cash expense? 50,000, 10,000 vouchers. Okay, so it's still that's okay. That's part of petty cash. IOU of 5,000. Okay, so i-adjust mo. 10,000 and 15,000. Less 15K. Okay, so ibig sabihin, 45K na lang. Okay, sorry, ang pangit ng sulat ko. 45K na lang ang petty cash fund mo. Ah, sorry, 35. Okay, pasensya naman. Okay, so ibig sabihin, ang petty cash fund mo is 35K. Okay, next, cash on hand included. At 100,000 check payable to Campbell, dated January 15, 2021. Okay? Pay, payable to Campbell, meron pa lang hindi, hindi sa'yo. In exchange for a guarantee credit line, the entity has agreed to maintain. So, ibig sabihin, yung cash on hand na yun, is hindi pala sa, sa atin lahat yan, less 100. Okay? So, 400 na lang. Okay? Next. Unrestricted. The entity has to maintain unrestricted bank balance. Okay. Wala naman yan. Okay. Next. Ano pa? Yung sinking fund is set aside to settle a bond payable. Okay? Is settle daw yung bond payable. That is June 30, 2021. Okay? So, what amount should be reported as cash and cash equivalent. Okay, June 30, 2021. Okay, isi-settle na siya. Okay, kasama ba yan? Yung sinking fund na yan is kasama na kasi for settlement na yan. Okay, wala nang one year in June 30. Okay, so pag isinama natin yan, ano makukuha natin? Okay, let me use my calculator. So, 4 million plus 2 million plus 
plus 400. Okay, may treasury bills dito. Okay, na 1 million. Okay, do hindi sinabi kung ano yung treasury bills na yan. I will consider it as a 90 day lang. So, you add 1 million. Okay, so plus yung petty cash pan mo, 35. So, 7 million for 35 ang makukuha. So, answer is dog. Okay? Hanggang 10, lampas tayo, ha? Punta tayo sa bank reconciliation. Okay? Mahaba pa. Again, dito na, dito na naman. Amount should be reported as cash and cash equivalents. Okay? Last sa cash and cash equivalents kasi medyo mahaba. Okay, now... Basahin ulit natin. Ito, pwede cash fund na naman, 50. Meron ka na namang unreplenished, 15,000. And employee check, 5,000. So, kailangan mo na namang i-adjust yan. So, ang pwede cash mo is 30 na lang. Now, first bank, yes, kasama yan. Second bank, overdraft, liability yan. Hindi yan kasama, mga kapatid. Okay. Then, uh, Money market placement. Okay, sinabi dyan money market placement yan. So, that is cash equivalent. So, kasama yan, 1 million. Port bank is uh, time deposit. Ano yan? Kasama ba yan time deposit na yan? Or short term lang yan? Okay, basahin natin. Meron bang sinabi? Now, punta tayo dito. A check for 100,000 was drawn against first bank current account. Okay, meron pa lang naka-drone. Dated and recorded December 29 but delivered to pay January 15. Okay? So, ang kailangan mong gawin, ibalik yan kasi dinelivered siya January 15 pa. So, mag-add ka ng plus 100 dito. Okay? May mga adjustment pala tayo. Port Bank Time Deposit Set Aside for Land Acquisition Okay, so ibig sabihin, yan ay non-current asset. Okay, so ibig sabihin, hindi siya kasama. Okay, so yan lang yun. 30 plus 4,100,000, in-adjust natin, plus 1 million. So ang makukuha mo is 5,130,000. Letter C. Okay, so I think alam na alam mo na yan kung paano yung cash account. Okay, so lipat na tayo sa... Bank reconciliation. Okay? Kasi na-board ka na doon. Ang tanong po is cash, cash equivalents. Ito, number 13. Okay? So, meron na tayong uh, bank reconciliation dito. Tingnan natin. What total amount of cash should be reported as current asset? Okay? Cash pa rin ang tinutukoy, pero meron ng data na kasama ang balance per book and balance per bank. Okay? So, in this case, kailangan tayong mag-adjust. Kailangan natin kunin ng adjusted bank balance. Okay? Paano yon? Adjust muna natin yung balance per book. Okay? Balance per book, 6776. Okay? Tandaan. So, ano yung mga kailangan mong i-adjust? Okay, sige. Gawa ako ng book dito. So, paikliin ko na lang. 6776. Okay? Now, ano yung mga kailangan natin i-adjust kay book? Okay, ano yung mga nandiyan dyan? Saisahin natin. Bank service charge not taken up in the book. Okay, saisahin ko lang ha. Dito is, meron kang 6. Okay, book error. Meron bang book error? Eto, sinabi dito. Error in recording a check in the book. The correct amount is paid 89,000. Instead, recorded as 98,000. So, may difference na 9,000. Okay. So, dito dapat is, eto, di ba, service charge kanina. Eto is 9,000 adjustment to be added. Okay. Now, makukuha mo na ang adjusted book balance. So, gamitan natin ang calculator. 6776 less 6 plus 9. So, ang makukuha mo is adjusted book balance. 6779 Okay So ngayon may, Alam mo na rin Ang magiging adjusted bank balance mo Is same lang Na 6779 
Okay, pareho lang yan. Ang ginamit ko is balance per book. Pero kung gagamitin mo balance per bank, makukuha mo rin is 6779. Okay? Now, ang tanong kasi, cash. Ibig sabihin, uh, repairing to all. Okay? So, ito ngayon is yung balance mo na cash mo kay bank na 6779. Ano pa yung isasama mo? Currencies and coins which is 950,000. So, add 950,000. Petty cash fund, eto yan, of which 10,000 is a paid voucher. Okay, so, ibig sabihin, less 10. So, meron kang 40. Okay? So, 40 plus 950, makukuha mo na. 40 plus 950, okay, plus 950, And then, plus 40. Okay, sa calculator mo, anong makukuha mong sagot? Ang makukuha mo is 7769. Okay? Ganyan lang yon. Either book ang gamitin or bank, makukuha mo same dapat. 7669. Okay? Answer is boy. Okay, ganyan lang yon. Ito, receivable from employees, accounts receivable, yan. Okay, pero on the side, advances actually. Okay, ng employees. Itong ban sinking fund, non-current asset, hindi siya kasama. Pero tinan mo, pwede rin per bank statement, meron kang 6-5. Okay, gawin na rin natin yung bank. Okay, tingnan natin kung same din yung makukuha nating answer. Okay, yung bank is deposited in bank close by BSP, kasama ba yan? Hindi yan. Adjustment. Okay. Deposit in transit and outstanding check. So, ibig sabihin, 1, 2, 3, 4 plus 1, 2, 3, 4 and then less 9, 8, 7. So, itong dalawang to ang magiging adjustment mo kay kay bank. So, 6532 Okay. So, yun yung balance per bank mo. 6532 plus 1600 ah uh, sorry 1234 okay so 1234 and then less 987 ang makukuha mong answer pasensya na no ang pangit ng sulat okay ang makukuha mong answer diyan is 6779 din so i-add mo lang yung adjustment na ginawa natin kanina na 950 and then 40. Okay? Pasensya na ang bank ng sula. 7769. So, either way, pareho ang makukuha mong answer. Okay, next. Adjusted cash balance naman tayo. Steam company provided the month end bank statement showed a balance of 3,600,000. Ang tanong, cash in bank. Okay? Month and bank statement. Okay? Now, meron kang 3,600, 3,600,000, pali, paikliin na lang natin. Okay? Outstanding checks. Okay? Meron kang outstanding checks na 1,200,000. So, less 1,200,000. Okay? And deposit in transit, 400,000. Okay? So, plus... 400. Okay. Then a check error. 50,000 erroneously charged by the bank. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan ibalik. Okay. Plus 50. Okay. So, i-calculator mo yan. Ang makukuha natin dyan is 2850. 2850. Okay, hopefully ginagamit mo yung calculator mo. So, letter C. Okay, next, number 15. In an audit of Mindanao Company, okay, adjusted cash in bank naman. Okay, so pag tinignan mong ganyan, ano yung uh, nakikita mo? Actually, walang binigay na balance per bank. Okay, ang tinatanong, cash in bank. Okay, so alam mo na 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 ano yung adjusted cash in bank? Yun din naman yung adjusted balance per book. So, kunin mo yung balance per book. Okay? So, eto yung adjustment mo. So, 1 million less 
3,000. etong outstanding checks, hindi yan kasi sa bank yan, di ba? Deposit and transit, hindi mo rin yung gagamitin. Customer note collected by the bank, so that is to be added, yung 375. Interest on customer note, so to be added, 15,000. Customer check return, NSF. Okay, walang pondo. Hindi mo alam, minus mo yan. Depositors note, charge to account. Okay, ibig sabihin, na charge tayo. Okay, so minus 250. Okay, so alam mo na ang sagot mo dyan. Adjusted book balance mo na makukuha is 1075. Okay, kahit hindi ka na mag, uh, actually M plus M minus lang yan, makukuha mo na kagad yung sagot kahit walang solutions. Okay, again, pag nag answer ng, ng problems, dapat dire-diretso. Okay, kung pwede dire-diretso sa, sa calculator, diretsohin mo na. Reported as cash in bank December 31, 2020. Okay, so punta na tayo sa cash in bank as of December 31, 2020. Okay, yun yung tanong. Okay, so kung titingnan mo, dito is ang binigay naman bank statement. Okay, pagkatapos ang tanong cash in bank, so madali, diretso yung tanong. Okay, so 2 million ang beginning balance, may outstanding checks. Okay. Ano yung outstanding checks? 500,000 ka. So, merong certified check na 100. So, ibabawas mo yan sa 500,000 less 100. So, ang outstanding mo na lang, sinertify na kasi yung 100, 400 na lang ang gagamitin mo. Deposit in transit, kasama yan. I-add back mo yan. Okay? Now, meron pa ba? NSF checks of which 50,000 had been redeposited and cleared. So, walang impact. So, tama lang yan. Nandiyo dyan. Erroneous credit. Okay? Mali ang pagkakakredit. Representing proceeds of loan granted to another company. So, ibig sabihin, nag-overstate ang account mo. Okay? So, ima-minus mo yan. So, less naman yan. Okay? Proceeds of note collected by the bank. So, eto naman is kay book mo ya adjust okay so ngayon makukuha mo na yung sagot 2 million less 400 plus 200 minus 300 ang mag makukuha mong sagot diyan is 1 million 500 so letter c okay madali okay kayang-kaya mga kapatid oh ito mahaba-haba Okay, number 17 tayo. Ano ang hinahanap? Cash in bank na naman. Okay, doon tayo sa cash in bank ulit. Pero tingnan natin kung ano yung available data. Examination of accounting records and bank statement revealed the following. Okay, ang binigay book. So hanapin mo lahat ng gagamitin natin to adjust yung book. Kasi pag nakuha mo yung book, makukuha mo na yung bank din, di ba? So, 8,500,000, a deposit of 1 million that was placed in the bank. Ito, deposit and transit. Pero ang gagamitin natin, book. So, ibig sabihin, wala yung impact sa pag-a-adjust natin. Bank statement shows, shows June 30 bank collected note. Okay, may na-collect. Credited the proceeds of 9,500,000. Okay, so this one to be added. Okay, checks outstanding on June 30. Okay. Ito yung adjustment naman to kay bank. So, hindi yan. Aris discovered that a check written in June for 200,000 in payment of account payable had been recorded in the entity's records of 20,000. Okay? So, mali. Okay? Instead na, na 200, ang na-record lang is 20. Okay, so 20 less 2, 200, kailangan ibawas ang additional 180,000. Okay, so kailangan magbawas ng additional 180,000. Next, included with June bank statement was NSF check. Okay, merong NSF check. Ito is, kailangan nating ibawas. Okay, less 250. Okay. The bank statement shows, okay, service charge. So, kailangan mo ding ibawas yan. 
2020. Kaya mo nang i-calculate ngayon yan. Okay? Balance per book, 8,500,000. Okay, ito yan. So, gamitin ng calculator, 8,500,000 plus collected amount, 950. Ito yan. So, add 950. Then, less 180 yung error. Then, NSF check, less 250. And then, service charge, less 20. Okay, diba? Kayang-kaya, mabilis lang kung, kung alam mong gumamit ng calculator ng mga M plus M minus na yan, ang makukuha mo 9 million. Okay? Kayang-kaya, mga, mga kapatid. Next, eto ang haba na naman. Okay, sige. Masipag tayo ngayon. Okay? So, gawin natin. Okay? Pero kasi minsan, pag ang tanong, uh, mga adjustment, adjustment, adjusted cash in bank, o ito mahaba. Adjusted cash in bank, no? Kailangan mong i-analyze. Okay? I-adjust mo ang book, pagkatapos kukunin mo si bank, i-adjust mo para makuha natin ang Balance per bank. Okay, let's try. Balance per book, 3,130. Okay, sige. Okay. Yan yung balance mo at the end of the year. Itong isa naman is balance per bank, 3,500,000. Okay, tingnan natin kung alin yung kukonti ang magiging adjustment. Yun yung pipiliin natin. Is it book or is it bank? Collections on January 31. So, ito is pupunta kay book. Okay, but undeposited. Okay, undeposited. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay, <coughs> ito ay, ano to? Deposit in transit. Okay, D-I-T. Okay, so papunta na yan kay bank. NSF check received from a customer. Okay, returned by the bank on February 5 with a January bank statement. So, ibig sabihin, ito is kay book. Minus kay book. Okay? Minus yan, adjustment kay book. Yan. Checks outstanding, January 31, kay bank. Outstanding checks. Ito naman is kay bank. Okay? Bank debit memo for safety deposit. Okay? Rental not recorded by depositor. So, kay book ulit to. Okay? Kasi na kay bank na. Creditor check for 30,000 incorrectly recorded in depositor's book. Oh, so, error ulit ni book. Okay. Customer's check, 200,000 what's recorded by the depositor. Okay, depositor na naman. So, ibig sabihin, uh, kay kwento, kay book na naman. Depositor neglected to make an entry in its book for a check of 125,000. Okay? So, kay book ulit. Ang dami kay book. So, ang gamitin natin, si bank. Okay? So, 3,500,000 kasi ang kay bank, dalawa lang. Deposit and transit. So, 3,500,000 plus 550. That is 4,050,000. Okay? And then, minus mo yung outstanding checks niya na 650. Ang makukuha mo, 3,400,000. So, yun na yun. Okay? Same lang. Okay? Kay book, pagkakinalculate mo, same lang din ang lalabas, 3,400,000. Pero pag nag-answer ka kasi ng problem solving, tingnan mo muna kung alin yung marami ang kailangan i-adjust. Kung alin yung kukonte, yun yung gamitin mong uh, shortcut. Okay? Para hindi maaksaya yung oras. Pero if you want to make sure that it is correct, so you calculate also per book. Ang lalabas, same lang ng answer, 3,400,000. Okay? Next, punta tayo sa 19. Okay, 19 and then 20 will end here. Okay, now, 19. In reconciling cash balance, December 31, 2020, shown the bank statement. Okay, so, ito ang some company provided the following information. So, nagbigay na information. Ang tanong, adjusted cash in bank. Again, kanina ang ginamit natin dito sa problem 8 is kay bank statement. So, para maiba naman, dito sa 19, gamitin natin kay book. Okay? So, ang tingnan lang natin kay book. Balance per book. Meron tayong 2,700,000. Outstanding checks kay bank yan. 
Huwag natin pakalaman yan. Kay bank din yan. Service charge. So, ito yan. Isama natin yan. Ililas natin yan kay book. Okay? Proceeds of bank loan. Okay? So, nag-loan pala kay bank. Okay? For six months. So, kasama yan. Add mo yan. Okay? Pumasok na sa bank mo yon. Then, customer's check. Charge by bank for absence of counter signature. Okay? Ibig sabihin, uh, i-chinage tayo. Okay? So, i-minus mo yan. Okay? Yun na yun, actually. Kasi eto, deposit incorrectly recorded by bank, kay bank na yan. Okay? Check of SIM company char charge by bank. So, kay bank na adjustment. Customer's note collect Ted by bank in favor of some company. Okay, yung note collected. Ito, kailangan nating isama kay book. Okay, so plus. Okay. Then, ano pa yung sa baba? Erroneous debit to charge some account with settlement. Okay, mali ni bank to. Okay, si bank ka nagkamali. Deposit of SIM company credited to some account. So, ibig sabihin bank din. Okay, eh ang ginagawa natin, book, di ba? So, ang kukunin mo lang dyan, yung 2,700,000 less 10,000 plus proceeds of loan, 940, charge back counter signature, less 50,000, and then add 435,000. Ang makukuha mo dyan, 4,015,000, letter C. Okay, nakita mo kung alin yung, okay, ang ginamit ko kasi dito, book. Kung alin yung kukonti ang possible adjustment, whether balance per bank or per book yan, same lang yung makukuha mong sagot. Kasi kailangan magmatch Kaya tinatawag na bank reconciliation. Okay, now last. Okay, para makapahinga na tayo. Okay, ito is challenging. Okay, challenging yung 20 kasi medyo mukhang mahaba siya. Okay, pero basahin natin. Sige, ito na yung may mga check-check na kasama. Okay, ang tanong, adjusted cash in bank. Okay, so tingnan natin. Balance of cash in bank, 1,300,000. Okay, dito is balance of bank statement. Okay, wrong to, mali. Balance of cash in bank. Okay, tama pala. Balance of cash in bank. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung books. Okay. Okay, book sa account yan. Balance of bank statement, ito yung sa bank statement mo, 1,200,000. Okay. Now, let's do some analysis. Outstanding checks. Okay, meron kang outstanding checks, 10,000, 55,000, 40,000, 25,000. Yan yung tatanda mo, 65, 70. Okay, so lahat yan is... Outstanding checks. Okay, then, merong receipts, August 31, deposited, September 1. Okay, ito ay deposit in transit, which is 275. Okay, receipts of August, deposit in transit. Siya, okay, next. Then, service charge, less 5,000 sa book. NSF check received from customer. Okay, so less in the books. Okay, I think madali lang to. Cashier bookkeeper has had misappropriated 30,000. Okay, so may inappropriate daw na 30,000. And then additional 10,000 by charging sales discounts and crediting accounts receivable. Okay, the stub for check number 765. Okay, okay. And the invoice relating there to show that it was for fifty thousand. Okay, ano ba yung seven six five seventy? Ato yon seventy. Instead na seventy, okay, is fifty lang. Okay, so merong twenty thousand na kailangan ibalik. Okay, incorrectly in cash disbursement journal. So na record sa book is fifty. Uh, 70. Okay, kailangan 50 lang. This check was drawn in payment of an account payable. Okay, payment has been stopped 
on check number 555. Nasaan yung 555 na check? Ito yun. 10,000. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, in stop, which was drawn in payment of accounts payable, the pay cannot be lo located. Okay? So, walang magiging cash. Okay? What is the adjusted cash in bank? Okay? So, simply lang, yung ginawa natin dito, ganito na lang. 1,300,000. Ito yung balance per book. So, book ako nag adjust Okay, yung overstatement sa 765 na 70 instead of 50. Yeah, 70 ang ni-record instead na 50. So, i-add mo yung 20. Okay. Sorry. Ang pangit. Okay. So, this, you add back 20. Okay. And then, merong check number 555 na sinabi, which was drone. Okay, pero hindi na makita yung pay. Okay, so kailangan mong ibalik itong 10,000 dito. So, plus 10. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, ang makukuha mo dito is 1,330. Now, ano pa yung kailangan mong i-adjust? Meron kang nakolekta. Meron ba? Okay. Wait. Meron tayong collections na nangyari ba? Okay, walang na-mention dito. Deposit in transit to. Ito, NSF check and service charge. So, 5,000. Okay, so meron ditong 5,000 service charge and 95,000 service charge. Okay? Okay. So, ngayon, 1,330, magiging 1,335. Then, plus yung NSF check mo na 85, magiging adjusted is, okay, minus yan, di ba? So, 1 million, okay, ang makukuha mo is 1 million 240. Okay, may answer pa. Yan yung sagot ko. Okay, meron. 1 million 240. Okay, nakita mo kung alin yung medyo madali, kukonti ang magiging adjustment, yun yung pinipik ko. Okay, so answer is, 1,240,000. Okay? So, I hope, okay, natututo ka. Okay? Kaya, di ba? Madali lang naman. Okay? So, ang haba talaga. <laughs> ang haba kasi ng pagka merong problem solving, actually, ang items ko is around 30 to yan. Okay, so yun dapat yung i-discuss ko. But I think it's more than enough. It's clear how to answer uh, multiple choice questions, problems. Again, ang kukunin mo lang kasi yung importante, include, exclude lang yan. Okay, pagka ang tanong cash, and, cash equivalent, so cash and then bank reconciliation, i-pick mo yung mas madali, shortcut. Okay, ganun ang gawin mo kung saan ka mas comfortable. Okay, meron kasing ginagamit na mga adjusted bank to book method, bank to book o book to bank, no? So, pero kung saan ka komportable. Okay, pero wag din kalimutan yung proof of cash. I did not give an example for proof of cash, so I will leave it to you. Okay, so yun lang. Thank you so much. I hope you learned. Okay, 